Today is part of the breaking convention, so we're doing stencil workshop out here, so participatory stuff. People can cut stencils, paint them, learn how to do that in a good, safe environment. And we're also painting, it's like a showcase wall, I guess. It's sort of showing off, really. <laughs> So Kel from Force 10, local breaking crew, got me involved with this one. We meant to do it at the start of the pandemic, then kiboshed everything. Um, but I've been part of the local scene, the national scene, international scene forever. The thing about graffiti, with a lot with hip hop in general, like it's a meal ticket anywhere in the world. You can hook up with people if you're a b-boy, you phone up people the other side of the world. It's like, yeah, come over, we're doing this, we're doing that. The same with graffiti, it's like, oh, we're going to go and do this, we're going to go and do that, do you want to come over? Like, we've got a couch you can sit on, there's always something to eat, there's some paint. Um, so it's, it's a ticket to travel and to make friends and just become part of the global movement. Just inspire them a bit, you know, about the whole culture and the, the kind of sense of movement, the energy involved with the culture. I, I don't know a single other culture that has the energy that, that the hip-hop culture has. It's, it's a raw, original energy and it, it gives me goosebumps every time. <laughs> me and Steve here, we've been painting together for a long time. We have this kind of like symbiotic thing going on and we just get down on it and just work it. So letters, letters and characters which is sort of the fundamentals of graffiti anyways. Everything's based around the alphabet predominantly. Um, and then it's augmented with imagery, whatever. Just, just gonna have some fun.